Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's session is for whom who do not know anything about Snowflake. So if you have never worked on the Snowflake, just continue to watch this video. So for the today's session's agenda is what is Snowflake? What makes up the Snowflake platform? What are the benefits of using Snowflake? So we are going to discuss these three questions. So I hope you will after attending this session, you will have understanding about what is Snowflake, what makes the Snowflake and what is the benefit of using the Snowflake. So what is Snowflake? So basically Snowflake was developed in 2012 and Snowflake is a fully managed SaaS. SaaS means software as a service. Software as a service means you no need to download or anything. You can just log into your web browser and you can use that service. Okay. No installation, nothing is required. Okay. This provides single platform for data warehousing, data lakes, data engineering, data science, data application development and secure data sharing. Okay. The main features of this snowflakes are separation of storage and compute on the fly scalable compute data sharing data cloning and third party tool support so these are the main features of a snowflake so the biggest feature is separation of storage and compute in the snowflake you can increase the storage irrespective of increasing the compute power so what's what makes up the Snowflake platform. So Snowflake platform has three components. The first is the cloud services. Cloud services means it's the top layer of the Snowflake. This is the core of the Snowflake. Okay. It provides all the uh, management related tools on the Snowflake. It handles all the security and encryptions. It manage the uh, optimization, metadata management and access control and all. The second part is the query processing or the warehouse. So the compute layer of Snowflake is made up of virtual cloud data warehouses. That means the virtual compute machines. So Snowflake uses the underlying cloud structure to perform its computation power and the storage. Third layer is the database storage. So the database storage is a place where Snowflake keeps its data and this layer will be the cloud platforms storage layer. Okay. So I hope you are clear with what makes the Snowflake. So it is a three components, the cloud services, query processing and the database storage. Now what are the benefits of using Snowflake? So there are many benefits, few are them as like instantly nearly unlimited scalability. So the Snowflake, as soon as you log in and create your account, the Snowflake is instantly available to you. You no need to download any software or uh, perform any kind of uh, the admin related stuff. You can just directly log in, create your account and you are ready to use the Snowflake. It has unlimited scalability. So you can scale the storage as well as compute power uh, unlimited. Okay, there is no limit. Like there are, if you if you see the traditional database softwares, they comes up with a predefined capacity. There you will get this much of a storage and this much of compute. But in Snowflake, these two things are completely separate and you can use or increase any one of them. The second part is automation made easy. Okay. So Snowflake, it has automated data management, security governance and data resiliency. So Snowflake has very less admin related tasks. Okay. What it means? It has, it, it, it does not have the indexing part, the optimization part. It, it automatically supports all these things. So automations are kind of inbuilt in the Snowflake as compared to the traditional data warehouses. The another benefit is the single copy of data shared securely and anywhere. So in this snowflake, you can keep one account or 
you can keep your data on the cloud and you can access it from anywhere okay this will be the single source of truth for your organization and multiple uh, departments can use the data simultaneously third party data integration snowflake has integration with many of the tools etl tools data to quality tools audit tools and so on so snap logic informatica uh, stream set there are a lot of tools available which supports snowflake so that's all i hope you learn about snowflake what is snowflake what makes the snowflake and what are the benefits of the snowflake if these points are clear to you you are ready to go and you can explore snowflake by your end now i will show you how you can go and create your own snowflake account and you can explore by yourself so just go to snowflake.com and you will see start for free option here just click on it then you will come up on this page where you need to fill this details so i am just filling all these details okay the next option you will get which snowflake edition you need to choose the standard one enterprise one or the business critical so the enterprise one is come come up with the all the main features and all so we can go ahead with the enterprise one the second option you need to choose for the cloud provider you can choose any cloud provider you no need to have any information on this cloud provider so i am going to select the aws here the second thing you need to select is the which region you want for that so it can be uh, related to your local region or anything you can select as per your availability just click here and now everything is done you can skip this page and you will get the email so that's all for now you can go and create your snowflake trial account and you can explore it by yourself thank you